Yeah. I'm like, tell the world that I need more. Trying to stack because I've been poor. The you say it's my time to blow. I'm just lining up all that C4. Lord knows how I'm so low, but I'm thankful because my heart's pure. Running life in that fast lane, and I pray to God that I can't stall. The WBC World Heavyweight Champion has come a long way since growing up with two parents and three siblings in one camper. He has luxury homes in multiple countries and matching luxury bathrobes for fighter and trainer. Strong and black, black for trainers. On top of it all, one of the best sports nutritionists in the world serving as his personal chef. George Lockhart has been working with Fury since late 2019. Together, they have helped maximize the champion's body for peak performance. Five meals per day, seven days a week. We actually went down in weight last camp. We got pretty low and then talked to Sugar Hill and he was, he was like, man, he actually performs better at the specific, you know, like heavier weight. So, well, our whole, and this whole 18 months, like I've been to England a couple of times to work with him. Um, and it was just like, let's shed some fat so when fight camp comes, he can just concentrate on performance, you know what I mean? They just tell me what weight he needs to be, and man, like I'll talk to Sugar, like, you know, the other day, he was like, hey man, he's sparring, you know, we need to up a little bit of the carbohydrates, we communicate like that. Certain days, you know, maybe add a little bit more, just a little bit more of that. I, can't, I don't want to say what it is, because it's secrets, you know? So I just say a little bit of this, a little bit of that. The secret formula has worked well for the former Marine and his team of nutritionists and chefs. They certainly have a proven track record of success, as their client list boasts a murderer's row of combat champions. We do all right, man. I mean, like, uh, we've worked with just about every champion you can think of, like Daniel Cormier, Conor McGregor, John Jones, Eddie Alvarez. It's been good. And it's funny because we got into boxing about a year ago, and now it's like it works with Tyson, Josh Taylor, Badu Jack, Triple G. So it's not a, it's not bad for a bunch of meatheads out of the Marine Corps. Now it's always good, you know. George is a professional of what he does. Uh, it's good to work with professional people who's ahead of the game, know what they're doing, and uh, yeah. I wouldn't want to be with anybody else over the big George over there in the kitchen. Hey, brother. For Team Fury, the competition within camp takes a back seat to soccer as they cheer on their country's national team when England takes on the Ukraine. And on this Saturday afternoon, everyone in the Gypsy King's inner circle is united in rooting on their homeland's lads. England's winning so far 1-0. But well, the last two big tournaments, they got to this stage. We love you, England! match ends 4-0, and the champion can't pass up the opportunity to revisit his own past triumph as he enjoys the afterglow of the England victory. I posted, I've not seen a beatdown over Ukraine like this since Dusseldorf, 28th of November, 2015. And if you don't know what that date is, that's the date when I changed the Everett division forever.